Hello again, this is Fire Child, and welcome back to the 2018 Pagan ABC Challenge. Today we're going to be talking about the letter E, and the focus today of the talk is going to be energies. Energies, oh well, I suppose it just kind of depends on your cultural and or spiritual background. Some people call, call refer to energy as Ki, Chi, chakra there's just so many ways but i feel that at the at the base level it's all the same stuff it's what energy is just what everything is composed of it combines and forms molecules i feel that in some ways it combines and forms spirit as well as physical energies are in motion they're in flux and i believe that's the very reason why even though the t the table that you see in front of you is a solid object even the molecules of solid objects are in constant movement energy can be something that we utilize in our day to day it, that we utilize in our magical practice and it can also be utilized against us. We use energy as fuel for our magic to help us achieve what it is that we want to accomplish. We channel energy and we send it in the direction we wish for it to go to accomplish its purpose. As such, as the stuff that has built the universe, energy is something that it can't be destroyed it's on it's just you know it sort of scatters and recombines and just becomes something else i i feel that energy is the base makeup of matter itself in the magical sense energy flows in a way that i feel is self-evident in nature the way a stream flows the way the wind blows the way the trees and f and flowers sway in the breeze energy is always in motion and as magical beings i think that one of our principal concerns should be the alignment of ourselves in such a way that we're not obstructing that flow that we allow the flow of energy to pass right through us at, in a way that we're not we're not disrupting what's around us unless that's your intention but that just depends on the individual I myself feel that I am most at peace when I feel that I am one with the flow of energy and sometimes this isn't always the case sometimes I get stuck I feel like my molecules are just frozen solid even though science will tell you that's not possible if you're an animate being but you feel that way sometimes you feel like you're standing in the path of progress and I feel that there are things I spoke about bells in a previous installment bells for me are a way to sort of shake things up i feel that on a deep level it activates my molecules it activates my energy and gets it to flow so that so that i can be a more magical being i can be a more peaceful and balanced being balance to me is being one with the flow of the universe and not being an obstruction but like i said inner the definition of energy i think as it relates to us and our interactions with it i feel that's going to be something that's sort of personal to everyone in my spirit travels for instance whenever i astral project i leave my physical body and I become a being of pure energy and as such I can travel through physical objects 
I can sort of hang out in a space and not be seen because most people can't see pure energy. And I feel that if you're if you're trying to astral project here in the physical world, it can be it can be helpful as far as trying to reach out and interact with somebody who's separated from you by space. And I feel that if you're astral projecting in the spiritual realm, I feel that when you reach the other side, things are much, I feel like things are much more fluid. It's just energy that isn't constrained. To me, that seems to be what the spirit is. Something that's, you know, although we sort of feel like it's tethered to our body, I don't feel like it's necessarily tied to it because sometimes it can be extremely easy for me to sort of jump out of my body at will. But I feel that it's sort of um it's sort of a mutually beneficial interaction. Your spirit gives animation to your body and allows your body to function while your body gives your spirit a place to dwell and feel stable in this life as you move through it. And all of that is about sort of trying to find the right frequency of of your energy attunement in order to keep things in harmony. But I digress. I feel like I've sort of <laughs> rambled on, but I'm sure that there's other people out there who are much more knowledgeable on the subject that would like to share and give some feedback to sort of help out the ones who are, well, we're all learning, but there's a lot of people who are really new to the walk and they have a lot of questions. So I hope that this will start up a dialogue where we can all share some knowledge that we've picked up along the way. Thank you very much again for your time and many blessings everyone.